Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here, and Apple made a huge announcement today about the developer beta program. In the past, if you wanted to start right in and using the beta OS releases like iOS 17 beta or macOS Sonoma beta, you had to pay $99 to be able to get into the program. And that was important this year because Apple locked those beta updates on iPhone and iPad and for macOS behind an Apple ID, so you couldn't use Cdutil or the old beta utility app to get the betas anymore. Now you don't have to wait for the public beta a month later you can start downloading right away and i'm going to show you how to do that next before we begin and i show you how to enroll in that new developer beta program i wanted to be clear about the big changes in mac os beta software that were made after mac os ventura 13.4 if you were on mac os 13.3 or earlier or even mac os monterey or mac os big sur no big deal because you can still use the mac os developer beta access utility and you can still use seed utility to be able to enroll your Mac into the different programs here. A lot of people are going to be on Mac OS Ventura 13.4 or later, and now you are locked behind the Apple ID, and that's going to be the only way that you're going to be able to see the betas and change it to the beta program because the seed utility and the Apple beta access utility no longer work. Now that we know the requirements for the Mac OS beta software program, we can go over to the brand new page that talks about all the changes in the Apple developer program. Keep in mind that the developer program was for people who design applications, enterprise, school, anybody that's working on Mac OS and deployments or developing software or testing. The public beta was usually for normal users that comes a month later and the OS's are a little bit more mature and don't have as many problems as the original one. So that's why the regular public beta was was released but if you wanted to be able to get in right away, you would have had to pay $99 to be able to get access to that. But Apple changed that just today, so now you can get the full beta OS releases downloaded with just signing up with your Apple ID. So all we need to do is go to this link, which is developer.apple.com slash accounts. It's immediately going to bring you to the Apple ID section. If you already have an Apple ID, all you need to do is sign in here, and then it'll bring you to the next screen, and it'll give you an agreement screen. This is what the agreement screen will look like when you sign in with your Apple ID. Go through this list and make sure that you agree to the terms. You can check mark this box, click submit, and you'll immediately be brought into the main menu. And you can scroll down and start downloading the beta downloads for Mac OS, iOS, iPad OS, TV OS, and audio OS for HomePod. Now the next thing we need to do is just sign in to our Apple ID on our Mac that we are going to use to install the Mac OS beta. Once we're signed in, you should see the beta update section show up in software update here. If you do not, you can actually hit command space and paste that into the spotlight search and hit enter and it'll automatically load the beta section window and give you the option to be able to click the beta updates. All you need to do is click on here and now you can see we've got Mac OS Sonoma developer beta and Mac OS Ventura developer beta. If we want to be able to see Sonoma, all we need to do is click on Sonoma developer beta and then hit done. What will happen is software update will immediately start checking the developer beta software update catalog and check your Mac to make sure it is compatible with the latest version of Mac OS Sonoma and it should show you the beta upgrade right here as soon as it's done checking. And there it is. It shows you the size, the version. We see that just because we have the beta updates here, we can also see updates available for Mac OS Ventura if we want to remain on here, but see what's available in the beta updates. If we click update now, it'll update this Mac. It's not going to download the full installer like it has in the past. It's going to do a Delta update to bring you directly to Mac OS Sonoma for your supported Mac. Now, let's say you just wanted to test Mac OS Ventura only. You can still go right back into the beta updates page select the drop down box go right back to Mac OS Ventura beta and click done and it'll check for updates on the Mac OS Ventura catalog now the same thing will happen up here if you join the public beta if your Apple ID is associated with the public beta it'll say public beta here instead and you'll be able to see those updates on that track if you are a member of Apple C for IT and sign in with your Apple ID that is associated with your account it'll say Apple C to beta here for enterprise and education we've got our latest 
Meg was Ventura Beta 13.5.2 that we can still install on this system. Now I wonder if you want to get back off the beta track and install the latest version of the public release or are you just done with betas? The way to exit the beta program and to see the regular production or public track of updates is just click on the updates again, click on the beta updates drop off menu and then click off and then click done and then it'll put you back into the public or the final version of Mac OS catalog and only show you the public releases. And we'll give it a second here and we'll show you what that looks like. And that's it for the new beta enrollment program. I think it's wonderful that Apple is giving users there's access to the developer beta right off the bat on the first day after WWDC to be able to test the new operating system because Apple needs all the feedback that they can get to make the operating systems great before release this fall. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks again.